Hi. If you are watching this video, you probably know about the monkey and the hunter problem. This is a problem from physics of motion. I will not be showing you how to solve this problem mathematically. Even though we should trust math 100% it is hard to comprehend and believe in this problem. You can find hundreds of YouTube videos that are solving this problem mathematically, but none of them is explaining intuitively in such a way that you can understand and start believing what is happening. This video does exactly that. It gives you an intuitive explanation that will make you say, I see. For those that don't know what is this all about, let me tell you what is happening. As you can see on the picture, a monkey, represented by a monkey head, is hanging on the top of a tree. On the ground, at the left lower corner, there is a banana. Someone will shoot the banana, aiming along a straight line that goes directly toward the monkey. At that very moment, the monkey drops from the tree. Since the gravity is pulling everything downward, the monkey starts falling directly toward the ground. Also, because of gravity, the banana will not fly along a straight line but along a curve that we call a parabola. At the end, the banana will surely hit the monkey, precisely as it was aimed at the beginning. Before showing you the intuitive explanation of the monkey and the hunter problem, I must remind you how are we usually dealing with complex motions in physics. Don't worry, we will not review very complex motions. I am using the word, complex, because in this example it will contain, two, instead of, 1. Motion On the screen you can see a boat, cruising on the lake. It intends to go from point A to point B, along a straight line. So, let's see. And, it arrives. Nothing special here. Now, let's make things more interesting. We have the same boat with the same trajectory. But, instead of a lake we'll put it in a river. The river is not standing and it flows, on the screen it is directed down and right. The river is painted on the upper plate on our model on the screen, so we will model the flowing by pulling the upper plate downwards. I am sure you know that the river will move the boat downstream, so instead to the point B, the boat will get to the point C. Let's see. This is how we usually treat complex motions in physics, we break the motions down to their components and then we can review each component separately. In our example, the boat is floating on the upper plate, but since the plate goes downstream, to an observer watching from our point of view, it will seems that the boat is going along the red line. Studying motions by analyzing each component separately is called, superposition. We will use superposition to explain the monkey and the hunter problem. We show the monkey and the banana on a plate. The plate acts as a reference frame, as we call it in physics. The monkey is fixed to the plate and it will move with it anywhere the plate will move. The banana will always fly in reference to the plate along a straight line that leads exactly toward the monkey. In this case we will assume no gravity, so let's see what will happen. Let's repeat this, but now we will add the world on a plate under the first plate. We painted the tree and the ground on the lower plate. Since there is no gravity to affect the movements, the banana will fly again along a straight line, hitting the monkey. Finally you are going to see the intuitive explanation of this problem. We will turn on, the gravity. The gravity will pull on the monkey and on the banana, causing the exact same acceleration downward of approximately 9.8 meters per second squared. Since gravity will equally accelerate both the monkey and the banana downwards, we can simply show that by pulling the upper plate. We said that the monkey is fixed on the upper plate and the banana is flying along that straight line that is painted on the upper plate. Therefore, the gravity will not change anything to the relative movement between the banana and the monkey. Watch carefully. Let's see this again, few more times.
Notice that the monkey is fixed to the upper plate. Follow the banana along the line painted on the upper plate. On the previous examples, we had our camera fixed to the world, the lower plate. Now, let's fix the camera to the upper plate, so the monkey will not move. Of course, that only changes the perspective, but the result is the same. If this helped you to intuitively understand the monkey and the hunter problem, that's great. Subscribe to my channel and write me in the comments if you want is to help you intuitively understand another science mystery. Bye.